off the couch, I'm on the road, and I'm on my way to Knight's Ferry, California. Knight's Ferry, as it is known today, was first settled by Dr. William Knight in the spring of 1849. Dr. Knight, aside from being a doctor, was a prominent fur trader that founded other towns in Northern California, such as Knight's Landing. The site of Knight's Landing was chosen as it was an appropriate area to house a ferry that would cross the Stanislaus River and thus provide Knight with a profitable venture in a yet undeveloped part of California. Knight soon partnered with local James Van Tyne and with the help of an old whaling vessel created a ferry that would be the staple of business in Knight's Ferry. located conveniently between the port of Stockton and the Sierra foothills, which were at the time rich with gold. Knight's Ferry became a hot spot to cross the river, and during the gold rush saw profits as high as $500 a day, which would yield a present-day gross of about $1,200. Unfortunately, Dr. Knight, his foresight as an entrepreneur, did not yield him great profits as he was murdered in the middle of the town late in 1849. After Knight's death, Van Tyne partnered with local Dent, and the old whaling ferry was replaced with a more modern ferry. In 1854, Knight's Ferry saw another substantial business go up as David Locke set up a flour mill. As the flour mill became a huge success, Locke eventually bought out Dent and retained control of crossing the Stanislaus at Knight's Ferry. Instead of keeping the ferry, however, Locke brought the idea of a bridge to the people of Knight's Ferry in early 1857. The first bridge spanning over the river at Knight's Ferry became functional. This bridge, however, is not the bridge that is seen today. Under conditions that now seem unfathomable, a heavy winter with an early warm spring rain created an abundance of water in the Stanislaus and the flood waters raged through Knight's Ferry at levels that were close to 35 feet over the present day low water marks. Fortunately, the bridge was built sturdily and the water could not take it down. Unfortunately, the bridge upriver at Two Mile Bar was not built as sturdy and eventually washed down and it destroyed the old Knight's Ferry Bridge. This series of events led to the creation of the bridge that still can be seen in Eastern Knights Ferry. The present day covered bridge, which is a must see if you're in the area, was built in 1863 and spans 330 feet and is the longest covered bridge west of the Mississippi. As successful as the building of the new bridge was, however, Knights Ferry prosperity that was seen during the gold rush era began to fade as commercial routes began to move closer to the Oakdale and Modesto area. In 1871, Knights Ferry relinquished its status as a center of government for Stanislaw County. And when the Stockton Visalia Railroad Station was proposed in Oakdale, Knights Ferry quickly lost power it once held when it controlled the crossing of the river. Eventually, Locke sold the flour mill and the mill was eventually transformed into a power plant owned by Stanislaus County. So too, the county bought the rights to the covered bridge in the mid-1880s. As the 20th century rolled in, Knights Ferry gradually moved away from the limelight and became the community it is today. Today, Knights Ferry is a small, tight-knit community that varies its look depending on what time of year you visit. During the later fall months, the Stanislaus River begins to drop. One can see salmon run upstream as they molt. Nearly extinct in 1990, a local park and recreation effort has been made and created environments in which the salmon now thrive. During the spring and summer months, the Stanislaus River swells and provides an excellent place for amateurs and locals to test their rafting abilities. And popular Knights Ferry to Orange Blossom Rafting Run can see an influx of over a thousand people per day on a busy weekend. 
I'm back home, I'm back on the couch, and dreaming up another adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that bell. That way you're notified of our next upcoming video. We'll see you again real soon.